All right, I'm going to show you how to do lobster tails the easy way without a knife. You can see I'm wearing gloves because uh, this stuff is, you know, sure it's got lots of bacteria on it because it's been raw. So here's two. Get those right there. Put this back over here. All right. I do believe we've got like six of them. <laughs> Faster, right? Oh, they stink. I'm a veg I'm a vegan, not even a vegetarian. I'm a vegan and I don't really condone eating this stuff. I believe that all these creatures are sentient. And uh, yeah, these are still kind of frozen too. I think she should have probably left them out. Fuck. Pain in the ass. All right, so anyway, there we go. Now this is the easiest way to cut them. Just come in here with some scissors, just like this. And just go right down the center of them. Just like that. So much easier then. See that? Then it's a little bit better because you don't, you're not, um, see how I shoved the scissor all the way in? And then I cut it all the way through. So what I do is I'm pushing this, the scissor all the way in, right down that mud vein, all to the edge, and then I'm cutting it, bam, just like that. I might even get a little deeper on it. I'll get a little deeper on this one, and a little deeper on this one. There we go. And then we just gotta go right through here. So I'm going in like this. I go and cut, you gotta, sometimes you catch yourself on those little, on the little uh, things, but there we go. I think this is safer than using a knife, to tell you the truth. Bam, done. Now I gotta wash this, so I'm gonna leave all this over here, all that gook. Now, the question is, is we gotta get them out of the shell, right? And so you gotta kinda pull them, pull it to the side like this. Could have done a little bit deeper cut on this. Now there's a couple of different ways you could do it. You know, if you're if you're do, if you're doing a presentation in a restaurant, you might cook them on top of the shell so that you've got that nice orange color of the shell. But it all depends on how you if you can get the meat out of these things, which you can see. I've got this one, but you can see it. Not a very great pet presentation there. That one looks kind of kind of mushy, but we'll find out when we cook it. And then this got to be got to be careful. You don't want to cut your fingers. That's why I wear these gloves because I don't. You know, these things have bacteria. You don't want to get necrotizing fasciitis. Or some other weird bacteriological infection. Once you cook it, it's fine, right? So here it is. And you just gotta kind of pull it off up underneath there like that. You see what I'm doing? And then I'm just gonna kind of smush, I smush the shell down like that. And then I kind of lay this on top of it, just like that. We're gonna wash them well too. So once I get them all popped out, I think they just like to eat the meat. They don't care about the presentation. So I'll probably end up just pulling all this meat out of here for them. There we go. See how that comes out? That one came out good. And so if you were gonna do a presentation for a restaurant, you fold it over like this. You gotta clean out, the, you know, we're gonna wash that all off. And then you set it on top. And then when it's cooked, it flares up, it looks really nice. But we'll do the video when we cook it. There we go. Gotta get in there. 
pull that meat out. You want to get all the meat out because they're greedy when it comes to lobster. They love eating their lobster. All right, we're not too bad. We got four of them done. We're almost, this one's, I don't know about this one. It's kind of, its shell is really soft. So this might, I don't know, this one here. Just put it, I'm going to put that right to the side because I don't, that one kind of worries me because it doesn't feel very good. All right, so there we go. So now, got the meat out. And again, like you can take the, take the tail like that and then just set it right on there and bam, Bob's your uncle. Now I'm gonna rinse them all off. I set the plate over here. And as I wash them, as I wash them, I'm gonna put them on that plate, okay? So I'm just gonna rinse them under the sink so that's what I'm going to do first. We'll rinse this one. What I'm trying to do is get uh, any of the intestinal organ. They call it the mud vein out. And this one here was the one that they had the really bad shell. So I'm going to pull this out of the shell just like that. I'm just going to rinse it that way. And we'll just set that one right there. And this will throw in the garbage. All right, so now, now these are ready to you know be buttered and to be put on uh, on the grill to cook. And so, just wash my hands again. This is the best thing in the world. See, it didn't didn't rip anywhere, so I didn't get I got one little hole there. <laughs> so hopefully I didn't stab my finger. But now I got to clean up this mess. You want you want to make sure that you clean all of this up because you get cross contamination you're making any other food here and I'll have to wipe this all down and I use like a, Cl a Clorox kind of thing all right in the meantime I'm going to uh, I'm gonna wash all that stuff all right all right so you want to make sure you get lots of soap on here and you want to really clean this stuff good you know get it nice and clean Just gonna wash it all and I'm gonna let it sit in here a little bit, and uh, you don't want to cross contaminate this stuff with anything else. Set that there. Watch this again. And make sure it's really clean. Yeah. Worst thing to do is get food poisoning. All right, so we'll just let that sit in there for now, and then uh, we'll finish up our, our job on our lobsters. I do believe I can probably fit them all on here, and then we're gonna cook them in our little uh, roaster oven over here. All right, so I transferred them onto this dish here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them right in there, and only take about seven or eight minutes to cook. We're gonna butter them up, of course, and I'll do that right before we put them in the uh, toaster oven. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna put this to 425. We've got it on about 12 minutes. I got it on bake, and I've already mushed a bunch of butter on there. We're just gonna slide her in there and uh, close the lid and just wait for it to cook. All right, let's take a look. Looks delicious. That looks excellent. So here we are. Bob's getting ready. What do you think, Bob? Um, it makes more sense to take it with the shell. She they says, wouldn't even know what this is. What is that over there? <laughs> Look at that. Mm. All right, let's eat.